Friends, I get up every morning and I'm fired up. We need to see hostages released now. Can I just ask you about a story that appeared in the national newspaper this morning about a man called Azhar Ali, who is uh, Labour's uh, candidate in Rochdale, who was recorded saying that uh, Israel had deliberately allowed 1,400 of its own people to be murdered on October the 7th in order to give it a reason to invade Gaza. Will he still be the Labour candidate in Rochdale at the next election? Well, his comments were completely wrong. Finally, I want to ask you about reports this morning that the Labour candidate, the Rochdale by-election, Azhar Ali, has claimed that Israel knew about the attack on October the 7th and let it happen. But does someone like that, with those views, have a place in Keir Starmer's Labour Party? What he said was completely wrong. Uh, it was wrong to say that. He should never have said it. Uh, I was appalled when I saw it. He's quite rightly apologised and completely retracted and I hope he learns a lesson from it. Should he still be a Labour candidate? Well, he's given a full apology. Is Labour happy with a candidate who thinks that? Uh, well, no, that's why he's issued a complete retraction and apology. And he has since apologised for his comments. Uh, he's issued a complete apology and retraction. He himself said it was wrong to say it. So he will be a, he will be your candidate in Rochdale. In the upcoming by-election, yes, he will. Hi, I'm Angela Rayner, and it's great to be here in Rochdale. And we've got Azar Ali, who is our wonderful candidate, who's going to be a big voice for Rochdale. Thank you, thanks, Johnny. And look, change tries to save the world. That's why all three. Okay, we're but. Um, I don't think it's worrying. I think this is good news. This is the first bit of good news. We've had like six horrible stories. <laughs> it's not good it news. is good news. <laughs> okay, carry on. It is good news. <laughs> Labour's Angela Rayner reveals she no longer goes out because of threats to her safety and was scared when confronted last week by pro Palestinian protesters. It's good news because it means that everybody is becoming afraid, okay. as they should be. So, we... Mr. Ali? I'm, I'm Roshan from Five Pillars. You got a word? Um, uh, you got to go through um, we'll not, we'll not get, get, so. we'll not, we'll not get a chance. We'll basically, not, basically, you want to know why you should have to listen to that video. Why should she listen to that for you? Do you still believe that that strategy? Should Keir Starm step down? Won't you speak to Muslim media, Mr. Ali? Is Labour Party a genocide? Silence won't do, Mr. Ali. There's a genocide in Gaza. Israel has a right to go and get those hostages. It has a right to degrade the military equipment and rockets that have been used against it to deal with the tunneling of Hamas. And we must recognise that Israel is facing a huge existential crisis. I want to pause here and with that Fabian spirit of inquiry, take in the full... You should be ashamed. We are one hundred days into Israel's indiscriminate bombing campaign. I'm a bum You know this guy's leader? Your murderer is me. Your murderer is not you, sir. Oh, yeah. Free Palestine! 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 I do not believe that it is the correct position now. Yeah? No, we don't spot that in this bag. We don't support Zionists.
You can go away. Thank you. We're not, we're not driving. Yes, you are. Sorry. Bye -bye. Yeah, okay, bye. If you elect me, you'll only be electing me for 200 days maximum. That's all there is left of this parliament. So I'm asking you whether you like me or don't like me, whether you're Labour, Conservative or Liberal normally, to lend me your vote once so we can speak with one voice for Palestine, for Gaza. And I'm not here because I need this job. I don't need the money. I don't need to be better known. I'm here for one reason only, and that is for Gaza, so that we show in the mightiest demonstration you could possibly have in an election that what Starmer has done will never be forgiven.